I made slides. I'm running out of caffeine, so I apologize for lack of energy, but I have uh, slides to compensate. So um, I also w had a slide deck, a last slide deck uh, about uh, specs and IPIPs happened in um, IPFS thing in 2023, which is a nice like one year review opportunity to look back at that big, bigger window um, and see where we are in 2024. So first I'll go over some uh, things that landed, then things that are in flight or a gaps that we have spec wise and process wise, kind of like governance as well. And the second half will be workshop uh, where you, we either have a discussion about solving gaps in the process or you can choose one of the open IPIPs I uh, hint at, uh, review it, comment on it, or propose your own. Um, so yeah, things that landed. Uh, the trustless gateways are here and they enable, uh, they are effectively the HTTP transport for IPFS systems. And what happened uh, during project uh, RIA uh, is that we now have ability to fetch uh, multiple blocks, each block being addressed by CAD. We are able to add, fetch a subset of a big DAG um, as a car response. And that is supported uh, by every gateway by default. Even if gateway supports the serialized responses, the trustless responses are opt-in and they are everywhere. And you are able to fetch a big directory without fetching all the files in the big directory. And we are also able to fetch a specific byte ranges as only a subset of blocks of a UNIXFS file. Um, and I mention it because that is not just, we don't do specs just for specs. This is how we get interop, which is uh, a thing, uh, there, it's a gradient. So um, just to show uh, the ecosystem effect is that uh, partial cars landed in both JS, uh, uh, in both uh, uh, gateway implementations that we have, which is uh, Kubo and Rainbow. And Rainbow is now backing IPFS IO. So you effectively can use uh, public uh, utility gateways for or as implementation of uh, the spec work that happened. And we have public utility dedicated to this. Uh, we also landed, finally, a specification of how do we control what is being uh, hosted and blocked on uh, gateways or your own infrastructure. And implementations landed as well in uh, Kubo and gateway impl uh, implementations. And the bad bits list uh, is available for community to consume. Uh, we have delegated routing uh, API for abstracting away querying routing uh, lookups. Um, agnostic does not, it's not specific to IPNI, it's not specific to Amino DHT. We enable ecosystem to experiment with new, better things that solve the gap in between those two systems. Uh, we have a public utility endpoint. Uh, it works today. I recycled the slide. Um, we also paid some technical debt. Uh, the legacy uh, problems in IPNS are solved and they shipped to all um, both, uh, Kubo, both Go and JS implementations, which means uh, people are able to produce like smaller records and uh, they will still work. And there is a conformance work, which is kind of like wrapping up the list of things that uh, are worth highlighting. Um, there are specifications, but without ability to test that your thing follows the specification, you will not even know that you did not conform to the spec. And also you may not identify the gaps. So this is a test uh, suit that just expects HTTP endpoint following the gateway specs. The nice thing about this is you can use this not just for testing the gateways. You may not care about HTTP. You may not care about interop in a sense of people using public gateways or a local running gateway. But let's say you want to implement a library that does uh, 
parts of uh, implement specific codec, Unix FS or something like that, you are able to expose that library as a small HTTP server and just consume a subset of the test suite and only run a test that tests hum charging or something like that. Uh, may, that's like an experiment in a spec to conformance testing to implementation where people don't spend time reinventing tests. They can either reuse fixtures from this test suite or just run the text, uh, test suite uh, on their CI. So now what's next and work in progress? Basically everything I will mention from now on, feel free to just go to IPFS specs repo and review and contribute to those things as a part of this workshop. Um, mainly, there's an F in IPFS. And I know I recycle everything in this talk. This is the joke I recycle. There's like file system in IPFS, at least in the, the name. So would it be nice to have a specification of the most basic file system implementation that people use today? Uh, we have that. Um, uh, Hugo started that. Uh, it's a pretty big, and I, there's a list of people who already engage on it. Uh, the ask, one of the ask is like, if you want to like do one thing, just read it with a fresh mind. And it's more, more, more valuable from a person which never read anything about this because the purpose of the specification is to enable people to go from zero to hero, to be able to just read this and be able to implement a subset or like compatible um, thing that can either read or create in XFS DAGs. Um, another thing is um, around a subset of things that um, people who want to uh, publish simple websites, dApps, uh, share resources, um, the pie is very big, the table CS CSV is very big, there are too many things in our ecosystem and people don't have a proper context. What is mandatory or what's the gradient or between things that are uh, necessary to have the basic uh, web-based hosting or uh, interoperability with existing implementations. So there, there's a proposal to add a specification of something called web pathing, which is opinionated set of things uh, that are specific to gateway, uh, uh, to uh, web use cases. So we are not making a specification of like content path is, we are not defining what IPLD is. It's more about, hey, what's the set of hash functions, uh, m m base encodings, um, and uh, multi codecs uh, that people need to implement to be able to get like 80% of interop. Um, and kind of related, recycled slide, I hunted it down. Um, there are two IPIPs for a possible future, which I mentioned during the first day, uh, uh, during the, my HTTP and IPFS talk. First one is about introducing a concept of path affinity to IPFS systems. And I know the name of the IPIP says on gateways, but that's just me being sneaky about introducing a concept to ecosystem. Uh, the idea is that at least maybe like an example, uh, the way if you try to load a path, a file from a path uh, in Kubo, it will resolve the path. It will walk a path and resolve every part to a CID and it will get the final CID and it will then ask routing system for the final CID. Um, so if you already had some of parents locally, you will be only resolving the final one. And if that final one is not announced, well, bad luck. Um, so it's kind of like a, the, the way with uh, content routing, before the content routing happens today, we are losing some information. The idea is to make sure that information is passed down the stack and across the systems. And because we want to have a HTTP retrieval as an alternative to BitSwap, introducing affinity as a hint uh, for those like block and partial requests uh, is a way to ensure uh, we we get uh, that benefit on the HTTP retrieval, separate conversation if BitSwap could also have uh, a, a benefit from this. Second thing is ability to effectively 
grow the tent of IPFS ecosystem and make every HTTP server potential content provider. And I'm not saying about every HTTP server just exposing slash IPFS endpoint. The idea is to have just be able to take any HTTP URL and optional range uh, request and use that as a potential provider of a block. And in case of uh, things like UNIXFS, if we uh, are building DAGs in a way where row blocks are at the bottom, if we add uh, an API, in this case to the gateway, um, to only fetch those internal blocks, uh, we are able to only fetch metadata from IPFS and then fetch the actual user data from both IPFS and um, HTTP mirrors. Another thing, uh, people are onboarding data. Uh, currently, the, if you want to like, have a generic data onboarding, uh, you ask people to produce a car and you ingest that probably over HTTP API. So maybe that's the standardized HTTP based uh, data ingestion. Uh, but it would be nice to have a spec so people who are building new services do not uh, spend time bike shedding uh, how API looks like. Um, yeah, Path Affinity is there. Uh, the option to fetch uh, just uh, metadata is there. Uh, we have delegated routing for querying. We don't have ability to delegate puts. And it's been a pretty long time to um, figure that out. Um, IPNS spec, I believe this one landed. The generic one when, oh, I'm announcing CIDs to some external system over HTTP. We don't have spec for puts, but we will likely not use puts, but post. Um, other things are gaps. And this is a good example because we wanted to have a, like a specification for double hash DHTs was proposed a while ago. The problem is we don't have a, a spec uh, of amino DHT. We have a spec of subset of that uh, in lip, uh, P2P uh, specs repo, but it does not describe IPFS parts. It does not explain how I believe even like how IPNS records are put or like provider records are put. So the problem, this is like illustration of the problem to have, uh, to be able to propose uh, Improvement, you need to have so something to, to PR, to delta against, right? So, yes. So basically, why, if you go to the specs website, why there's just a, oh, there's a lot of HTTP and gateways? Well, a uh, person that wanted to make improvements realized there's no like basis. So I documented the current status quo of JS and Go implementations. Then we had a switch to the specs first. And we were able to start getting and reviewing IPIPs related to gateways. So kind of similar to have a conversation about, um, I think I switched slides, yeah. Uh, about DHT, for example, when, or UnixFS, uh, added some metadata to UnixFS, content types, maybe like uh, the hash of the entire thing. We need the basic spec. So you don't have to like help with uh, IPIPs. You may just help document the existing thing that you want to improve first. Uh, IPNI uh, and things like, uh, yeah, data onboarding uh, over uh, post, um, the content type, which I mentioned, and things related to uh, systems like uh, IPNI where having a, a ambient discovery of content routers, uh, all those things are, uh, are there. Uh, if you feel strongly about prioritizing any of them, please drop a feedback, uh, especially like if you have use case or a product that you are building that would be benefiting from that. Um, and I guess that, that those were like, kind of like examples close to my heart, but I feel um, a closing note is that there are, we, we could look back and see that some things work and some things do not work with IP uh, process. So first of all, what works, I feel this extra friction that the specification add to ecosystem, it's a feature, not a bug. We see it's like harder to just YOLO something and propose and just ship it to production and say this, oh, this is just IPFS. Um, now you may have your, uh, your API specific to your implementation and features specific to your implementation, and you may dog food them and prove that they are valuable. 
uh, but for the ecosystem to kind of like treat them more seriously, you have a process that you can follow to sh to ask uh, other people for to adopt it or uh, for a feedback. Um, and the idea is that by the fact that we have a template which forces people to clearly state their intentions and security considerations and how interop with the rest of existing ecosystem would look like and what's the user benefit, that kind of like forces people to shine a light at their idea and some and we have a, a way more IPIPs which were just closed rather than ones that we ratified and merged because it's very useful for a healthy ecosystem to have a place where people can propose ideas and sometimes convince themselves that, oh, maybe it's not the best approach. Like we had um, the, the denialists uh, that uh, landed are not the denialists proposed by Cloudflare. Cloudflare had their own IP, which was uh, JSON based and not as efficient or not as feature complete as the one that uh, Hector, uh, after reading Cloudflare once, uh, proposed. So. Uh, I'd say this is a system working and we should like embrace the fact that the friction is a feature. Um, but the question is like, what does not work or what we could improve? Personally, I think the biggest problem is filling specification gaps. We cannot even, uh, we cannot have a conversation about uh, the stewardship of a specifications if they don't exist. So, who should be um, stewarding uh, Amino DHT specification? Well, I'm happy to discuss after someone PRs the actual specification, right? So uh, the, I think let's fill gaps first, and we I'm, like it, th those can happen in parallel, but we should uh, find uh, stewards of uh, specific specifications after we have them. Um, and those will be good people, people who uh, initially started uh, could be well connected with other people and we may source from the ecosystem. There, there are already people interested in that. And the idea, I don't think there would be like one group of spec stewards that could be like a very big tent. Uh, there will be probably a smaller working groups of experts that uh, really care about this specific part of IPFS ecosystem. Um, so that's like my prompt. And that's the last slide. So at this point, we can either have Q&A uh, discussion, and I'm happy to answer any questions if uh, my brain still works. Or if you want to just chill and uh, disconnect a little bit, you can go to github.com uh, slash IPFS specs. There are some issues about a uh, gaps in our specs. There are also like IPIPs, which are still open. Feel free to review, read them and comment. And if you don't have an idea what to look at and or review, go to the Unix FS one. Uh, because we really, it's like narrowly baked. It's like narrowly ready. So, yeah. And that's it.